just gonna wait and see what we can find and I hope we find a big bug. high, but you remember, you remember the, um, hang on, hang on, hang on, stop, stop, baby, stop, 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 honey, stop, listen to me, listen to me, what, do you remember your, um, spiker, yes, remember your spiker, yes, okay, okay, he was a little high. Yes. All right. So let's review the footage. All right. Okay. The, the arrow went through him. Yes. We just had a pretty good six-pointer come in. Um, and the reason Maddie wanted to take the shot, I think, because um, it was in velvet. Did you see it was velvet? Yeah. 
That was pretty cool. But she seems to think that it was a little high. And far. What? And far. And, well, here's the thing. Them lungs go back, honey. Them lungs go back. Okay? So, here's the thing. The deer did duck again. And we got to learn to aim a little lower. But it was 22 yards. I told her to put her 20-yard pin on it. Okay? So, we don't know. When it took off, the arrow was a pass-through. And it looked like the arrow was down way lower. Okay? So, I've got it on the phone. I'm going to call Adam. And I'm going to call Mitch. And we're going to get him out here. But I got a feeling, I think it was a... I, I think it was a good shot. You want to call Mommy? Yeah. I got one. Well, no, no, no. You no. stuck one. I stuck one. You stuck one? Yeah. Is it close by? Well, we don't know. We, we're still in the blind. Yeah. We don't know. We're still in the blind. Was it big? He, he's, he's a six-pointer. So, he's, it's with the bow, and he's in velvet. Ooh. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Do you think it was a good shot, Maddie? He... Maddie. You tell her. You tell her. Maddie? Daddy thinks it's a good shot. I don't know. I want to know what you think. I, I, I don't know. I First I thought it was a bad shot, and then we reviewed the footage, and Daddy showed me where the arrow came out or where the arrow is, and, it's, and he said it might be a high double lung. And that kind of cheered me up. Yeah. Are you upset? Talk I'm to mommy. I'm, I'm, st I'm still scared. I'm, I'm, I'm still a little bit nervous and scared. Oh, okay. I think it'll be all right. Okay. Them things duck, though, don't they? <laughs> yes. Why did it duck? Because it's seen something coming at it. It's like they know it's coming. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, tell Mommy you're the first one we called. You were the first one we called. Oh, thank you. You'll be okay. I think you got it. Okay? Okay. All right. I love you. Love you. Hold on, I think Bye. Daddy wants to talk to you. Alright, love you. <laughs> love you. Bye. 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 Right behind the shoulder, the heart's here. Let's, let's do, this is the shoulder here. Okay, right here. Right behind the shoulder, <clears throat> you got to shoot low to hit the heart and the front part of the lungs. But what happens is, the lungs go up, and then they curve back, okay? So when they curve back and you hit a little high, you're going to clip the lungs, okay? It might look like a gut shot, but you clip the top part of those lungs. So when you, when they duck, and you've got probably six inches front to back in that higher area, that you're going to clip them lungs because they curve up and curve on top of the the guts and <clears throat> the belly. So even though it was back, it was high because of the deer duck. Boy, that thing ducked. So you could possibly have hit the top part of them lungs. Now, if he had a, a exhaled breath, it might be deflated. What does deflated mean? Well, when your lungs, when you breathe in, your lungs expand, okay? And when you exhale, they collapse. And if they were collapsed? You're going to be in that dead zone, okay? You got it? So just be patient. You guys hang with us. Mitch and them are on their way. So Adam's on his way. This isn't one of their big bucks, but I tell you what, he's a six-pointer. 
and he's in velvet, and he's cool, because he goes up in forks, as you guys could see. So, are you, ha you, you happy with him? Hmm? Mm -hmm. You're going to be very happy with him, right? He's in velvet. I've only killed one velvet buck in my life. All right? You got this. We'll, we'll see. And listen, if you don't, if she doesn't get him, this is hunting, honey. You are nine years old. Listen to me. You are nine years old. You've killed one deer with a bow. Okay? You've already, you've already accomplished way more than your daddy ever has. You hear me? So, if it meant, if you didn't get him, then we just got to go home and practice more. Are we going to feel bad that he's wounded? Yeah. But, hey, don't worry about it. I think it's a very good shot. Okay? I really do. Because it's back and high. All righty? All right. Give me five. Stay alive, sister. Why don't you get excited? What, you remember that song you sang last year? I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> I love you, baby. Turn that frown upside down, no. sister. Huh? No. No, I don't think that was recording. No, it wasn't. I couldn't get it on. Oh. Turn that frown upside down. No. What you need to do first is you need to find where it kind of spun in the dirt. Okay, now it might be tough. How can you find that though? Huh? How can you find that though? How? Find what? Well, I don't know. Use your strap. Oh, look, he slipped. Alright. Now make sure you look for that deer too. Because if he jumps up. Oh, oh, I see him, I see him. I see him. He's right there. I see him too. Do what? He's yes, right he. there. Yes, yeah, he. Where? Right, right there. there. Nuh-uh. Yes. He's yes. right, right there. Be careful with that velvet, boys. Yes. Don't kick it. Yep. Don't touch the velvet. Look. Huh? It's so soft. Get around here, boys. Come around here. How many fun are you? Well, he's, he's a five, but try not to mess with him. Velvet. Oh my goodness. He didn't, he didn't go like through. Oh, there's the arrow. You can yep. You see yep. The light. We see the arrow. Huh? Excited. Are you? I'll tell you what, we came down here at Bluegrass Whitetails down here in Kentucky. Mitch and Adam invited us all down here and invited Maddie to come down and try to get her first velvet buck. Um, most of the mature bucks, they are, they're already hard horned. So this, I thought was a six pointer, came out and he's actually a five, which is okay. But Mitch and Adam both had give Maddie the go ahead on just killing whatever she wanted. And we came down here for two reasons, one to kill a nice buck or one to kill one in velvet. So this little guy did step out and like we've always said, the trophy is in the eye of the beholder. And Maddie's dreamed of killing a velvet buck since she started. And this little guy is in full velvet, hasn't even started rubbing. It'd been hot, heck, we'd been fighting 90 degree temperatures and we was actually thinking about going home to come back and hunt another time, but we seen the weather, the rain was coming in, had an overcast here, and the wind was perfect for this blind. But 
what was funny is this buck came from the opposite direction we thought he was. He came from the woods instead of the CRP. And Daddy was asleep, and I woke up and seen him, and he was at 18 yards. Maddie made a great shot on him, but he ducked and spun and went through the back end, but actually come out through the other lung. But I'm telling you what, Maddie has had an amazing time down here. Well, that the orange is different. That's his winter hair coming in, honey. Oh, that's a tea. <clears throat> right. But we came down here to Bluegrass in Hardensburg, Kentucky, and Maddie's had an awesome time. Not just about the deer hunting, but Maddie got to swim with the boys. She got to meet new friends. We got to meet new friends in general. Just everybody down here has been amazing. You know, they let Maddie harvest her first velvet buck, whether it a five-pointer, ten-pointer, twenty-pointer. They didn't care. So we was lucky that the boys didn't get all the way home, right? You guys had to turn around? Huh? Yeah. Did you guys have to turn around? Yeah. <laughs> so, Maddie, what do you need to say? Thank you, Mitch. Thank yeah, you, Mitch, and who here. else? Um, Adam. Adam. And all the boys. Uh -huh. And all the boys. Well, here's her arrow. So the Black Eagle Zombie Slayers done the job with the Luminoc. And this year we tried the G5 Montex. A real good friend of ours, John Mulligan, shoots them. And not a very big hole, but for only shooting 39 pounds, these Montex, it has a total pass through. So look at all that blood on it. How deep did it go? Flick it. So we went all the way through him. So Adam, Mitch, this is a dream come true. This is a 200 inch deer in our book. And, you know, we're, we're going to be back. I'm coming back at probably late season, maybe December or something. But, guys, if you haven't checked them out, you definitely need to because they're about the hunter. So, stay tuned. we got more to come. Thanks for watching Field to Feast Outdoors. Bye. There I was, back in the wild again. And I felt right at home where I belong. That feeling coming over me again Just like it happened so many